I believe that lawyers have a public contract. The quid is that we get to charge uh, for legal services and we have a monopoly on those services. The quo is that we have a responsibility to give back and to represent those who cannot afford a lawyer. It's really the promise of America. While I was in the legislature, I was very involved uh, in uh, consumer issues. Uh, both Roy and our lawyers at Atlanta Legal Aid had cases against fleet finance, which involved them making predatory loans to low-income people. The law shouldn't allow that. The law should be uh, used as a shield uh, and not a sword to hurt those uh, who do not have the means to employ counsel. And a result was thousands of low-income folks got reductions of their loans and in fact it ended up in a state investigation where there was a hundred and fifteen million dollar settlement with Fleet relating to their illegal practices. After serving as a longtime Georgia state legislator, Roy Barnes was elected for one term as governor. When I left the governor's office, I gave a lot of thought about what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And so I decided that I would go to legal aid uh, as a full-time uh, volunteer for six months. He expected to start the week after he was no longer governor of the state. Well, he came by to talk to me and then decided he was just simply going to stay. And it was quite a, uh, a shock to the office because I was still governor. Not only did Governor Barnes set a wonderful example by volunteering to be a pro bono lawyer in our program for six months, but he also proved the point of how important it was to do that by proceeding to settle cases that we were unable to settle. He used his extensive negotiating skills to step in and settle for us, and that was a great thing. One of the cases we gave Roy Barnes was a case from Miss Alfreda Webb, who had litigated against a car company for some abuses that she had suffered. I drove off the lot and I put 44 miles on the car and it broke down in the middle of the street. Just died. She had gone to small claims court and represented herself and then the used car lot decided that they would uh, demand a jury trial. When I went to Cobb County Legal Aid, they assigned me to an attorney and to my surprise, it was Governor Barnes, Governor Roy Barnes. And I said, they want a jury trial? We'll give them a jury trial. We won the case, um, and I'm very happy with the settlement. He's, since that time, has set up a small office in Cobb County with his daughter and son-in-law. There's no difference between billable and non-billable hours as far as that's concerned, and our clients are treated just the same as our paying clients, and they're just as important as every other case that we have. We even wrote into our principles, our law firm principles, that we would never fall below 10 percent of the hours of each and every lawyer would be uh, in pro bono work, but it looks like it's going to be closer to 20, and that's okay, and that's the way it should be.